business. Business is a funny thing, right? Because the point of business is to make money. Any business is to make money. And it sounds kind of cold-hearted. Stay with me. We'll get to Joe Biden in a minute here. But it sounds cold-hearted, but that's how it should be. If uh, I'm an employee and you're my employer, my job is to help make you money. It's really not more complicated than that. And if I don't help make you money because you're my employer, you need to fire me. Like the job, the goal is to make money, and if you don't help me, you're going to fire me. Well, it's important always to understand the motivation of people, of entities, to understand their goals, because then you understand why they do what they do. Joe Biden, for instance. Why, why did the system ever pick him? I mean, he's always been an idiot and a liar and not particularly likable. Why pick Joe Biden? Well, let's, let's do it a little rewind. They picked Joe Biden because Joe Biden seemed to be the more moderate candidate. Now, I know he's no moderate, but hear me out. They were looking at a nasty primary. It was 2020. You had crazy Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. You had Dome in there. You had all these nut jobs all trying to out-communist each other in the Democrat primary. And it was very clear that this wasn't working. Bernie was leading in the votes. And the system looked around and it said, what did it say? Did it say Bernie's too far left? No, no, the system's far left. What it said was, oh, man, look at these general election polls. I don't, I don't think... I don't think we're going to be able to uh, win. we got to do something. Uh, hey, we love Bernie. We love his communism. He's going to be a huge help to us, but he can't win. So what did they do? They went and scraped old Papa Joe out of the scrap heap. Even, it didn't matter to them that his mental health was deteriorating and anybody with two eyes could see it. The system correctly said, hey, we've got enough crooked things in place between the ballots and the media, we'll get the guy across, stuff him in the basement, hold up some place cards, and we'll get Papa Joe across the finish line. And they did. They found enough, they found a way and found enough ballots to make sure Joe Biden won the election. Woo-hoo-hoo, nice. And Joe Biden, to his credit, has been excellent for the system for a couple of years. He's basically a helpless cadaver. He doesn't try to get in the way too much. And he kind of just, all the full-blown communists around him are allowed to run roughshod over him and do what they want. But there's a problem. There's a limit on Joe Biden's usefulness. That is the problem. You see, communism is a business too. Now, they're not in it to make money. They're in it to destroy and kill. That's what communism is about. They need to destroy and kill. In order to do that, they need as much political power as humanly possible. Well, they've taken the administrative state, and they've taken uh, the education system and entertainment and all those other things we talk about all the time. You know all that. But, I mean, having the presidency really helps. It's a big deal having the presidency. So Joe Biden is becoming a liability. He's now the employee who's not helping make money. You're the employer. You're the RV sales manager. I'm one of the salesmen. It's not just that I'm not selling RVs anymore. I show up, I'm hung over half the time, I'm turning people off, it's, it's terrible, I'm costing the company money, and the truth is, it's a cold-hearted business. It's a money-making business, I've gotta go. Joe Biden, Joe Biden is a liability. And let's say one thing to rest, I may be a practicing Catholic, we used to go to 7.30 mass every morning in high school and then in college before I went to the black church. Not a joke, Andy knows this. That's not true. <laughs> Joe Biden, Joe Biden is, well, he's a liability because Joe Biden has reached a level of sociopath that most people don't reach. You see Joe Biden on top of being old and decrepit and a cadaver, Joe Biden is the biggest liar in the history of the presidency. And I say this with wide open eyes. I say this and I know that every single president ever lies. They all do. Republican, Democrat, they all lie all the time. Sometimes they're little lies, sometimes they're big lies, but they're all lying all the time. Joe Biden, though, 
Joe Biden will t- tell these gigantic, easily verifiable lies. And it's not like it's a one-off where he'll tell it, ah, oh, I went to a black church every morning. It's not like he'll do it once and then get caught. Uh, <coughs> Joe, <coughs> that's not true and everyone knows it. He'll just keep telling it. It does. He's so devoid of any real humanity or soul left, he just keep telling it. The church he's talking about is the Union Baptist Church in Wilmington, Uh, The Washington Free Beacon, to their credit, finally went and tracked down everyone attending the church. Nope. Nobody remembers Joe Biden. Because Joe Biden probably never walked in the church at all. But it is Martin Luther King Day, and therefore Joe Biden has to do the ultimate black pander thing where he gets up and lies about every single thing. And so that's one of the reasons he's a big liability is because he won't stop. Did you know? Did you know that people on his team have actually asked him, on his own team, they've asked him to stop saying some of these lies because they know it's damaging politically? They've gone to him and said, hey, Joe, uh, you keep saying people couldn't own a cannon when the Second Amendment was passed. That's not true, and that's something that's actually, <clears throat> it's really easy to verify. Could you, we, we could probably lose that talking point. Don't say that anymore, but he won't. He's, so, he's such a sociopath, he won't. And it's more than the lying. He looks terrible. He is the face of the Democratic Party. He looks terrible. He can't, he can't speak. Those are the words of Kajan, Kajan, Katanji Drown Jackson, our Supreme Court Justice. You know, that's really on Biden's team. If we're, if, look, if we're going to assign blame for that little screw-up, that's on Joe Biden's team. I realize he had a name as Supreme Court Justice, and I realize because actual accomplishment and things don't matter anymore that it had to be a black woman. I, I, I get that. But there weren't any black judges named Barb Smith or something. You really gave poor Joe Biden, Katanji Brown Jackson, and you expected Papa Joe to be able to repeat that name without hesitation. That's on Joe Biden's team. And look, it's not like this is a one-off. <laughs> Remember, Remember the time Joe Biden sang, said happy birthday to Martin Luther King the third's wife? Her name is Andrea, by the way. Well, look, my wife has a rule in her family. When somebody's birthday, you sing happy birthday. You ready? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alan. Happy birthday to you. Well, he forgot her name. Support the First TV today and get instant access to exclusive specials like Who is Ron DeSantis? The History of FBI Scandals and America's Worst Presidents. Visit thefirsttv.com support or download the First TV app to become a supporter and start watching today.